Hello everyone, today's daily lead code challenge is match sticks to square. Here it's a medium medium level question. Uh, the question given is we have uh, we have given an integer array which is named as match sticks. Here every i of a match sticks will represent a length of a match stick and we need to use all the match sticks to make one square and we should not break any stick and we should link link up them and make a square and we should and the condition here mentioned is we should mention we should use match stick exactly only once if we can make a square by using this match sticks then we should return true otherwise we should return false mm, we will we will understand the logic behind the question by a help of algorithm the algorithm of a question will be as follows first First condition we should check is all the sides of a all the sides of a match sticks, all the sides of a polygon we are making using a match stick should be equal. That is, if one side is yes, all the sides should be yes only. All the sides should be yes only. And uh, the another condition we will we will follow is we should check whether the match stick match stick array length is less than 4 or greater than 4 if the array length is less than 4 we should direct return false because because at least we should we should have 4 or greater than 4 to make a square using a matrix so we will directly return false if uh, the length of a matrix if length of a array of a matrix is less than 4 the second condition we need to follow is We should check whether the array sum, array sum of match, match, array sum of matches, sum of values of arrays of sum of values of matches is giving a reminder zero when divided by four. Whether it's giving a reminder for reminder zero when divided by four or not. If it doesn't give a reminder four, then we should directly return false. If it if it given uh, if it will given uh, reminder zero, then we will go for another statements. Okay, let's start coding. Then we will we will know how to how to write a recursive function for this match box. Okay, friends. Now we start coding. First, we need to check. First, we need to check whether the length of array is less than four or not. If it's less than 4, we directly return false because uh, the length should be greater than or equal to 4 to make an uh, to make a square. So if m dot len gth less than 4, we directly return we directly return false here. Uh, and the next and the next condition we have to check is whether our whether our uh, sum of an array is uh, some of an array is giving a reminder zero or not. If it if it's not giving a reminder zero, then we will directly return false. So for that, first we need to. So first we need to find a sum. I will make a for each loop. Using for each loop, we will we will we will try to find a sum of an array. Uh, I'll initialize sum outside first. In sum equal to zero. In sum equal to zero sum plus equal to a now i'll check if the sum the sum is whether equal to 0 or not if it's 0 then i will return directly false if it's not 0 then uh, if it's not zero, we need first we need to sort uh, sort our array, and we'll apply a recursive function by comparing uh, by comparing by comparing another array side and uh, our match our match stick array. So sorry friends, I, I need to rename this. I'll uh, I renamed this as M, so it will be easy for uh, for coding. Okay, now I'll I'll sort arrays of arrays dot sort arrays dot sort m 
and now i'll return i'll sort rl.m and i uh, one more thing i need to do is i will i'll make another array and initialize all the elements of a array by sum by 4 as uh, as we are as you are calculating for a square which has a four sides sum by four i'm sorry it's comma not semicolon sum by four sum by four sum by four sum by four okay uh, now i'll sort the array and next next i will return return my uh, recursive function dfs by parameters match m sides m side m dot len gth minus 1 I, I, uh, I want to traverse from last of a array uh, last of a given uh, from, la from last of a given array to I need to compare the last element of a given array and the element which I which I have initialized side. So let's see how our uh, recursive function is working. Okay, this is our matchstick array and this is our side array which which we have initialized with the sum by four. Uh, here all the values is already initialized as two because the sum of this uh, matchstick array will be equal to eight. Eight by four by equal to 2 all these uh, all these values are equal to 2 now so we will check from starting element of a side and ending element of a, ma a match uh, if if the element if the element in the match is less than or equal to side of i then we need to remove then we need to remove the element uh, then we need to subtract the match element from side array and update the resultant to the side array again so 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 will be equal to 0 which will be updated to side array and we need to we need to call recursive call again for this one and this one and we need to compare this and this if if again sides if again match uh, match index is less than side index then we need to minus then we need to minus match index from side index and update the resultant to side index again we need to make a recursive call if it's uh, again we need to make a, re a recursive call by decreasing indexing index array and increasing i array we need to increase i and we need to decrease match array index so uh, so now we will see the coding part of this recursive array uh, recursive function uh, the recursive function will be uh, I will declare it as a private and it should return a, a boolean uh, whether it's a true or false so I will declare it as boolean type and dfs int array match uh, again one more array sites again idx I will I'll assume this value as idx and now uh, first we have to check whether the condition if idx if idx equal to minus 1 if idx equal to minus 1 then we are we are array out of bound that means uh, we are traversing from last to front of match array if idx equal to minus 1 then we already re we already reach a last element and we are going out of the bound so when we reach that element we will direct will directly return all the elements of a side array but we need to check one another condition uh, all the elements of a side array should be equal to each other so we will we will return side array as side array of 0 should be equal to side array of 1 side array of 1 
and those should be equal to and and those should be equal to sides of 2 so sides of 1 should be equal to sides of 2 and those should be equal to sides of 3 so sides of 2 should be equal to sides of 3 that's it if i dx equal to 1 we will directly return sides array and we need to check all the uh, elements of a sides array are equal to each other and after that we will make a for loop and we need to traverse the sides array from 0 to its length its length obviously it will be uh, equal to 4 but we will but we will do this length uh, sides dot length if uh, we have discussed in our algorithm section uh, if match of index if match if match index is less than sides array then we need to then we need to minus minus the match array value from sides array value so match of idx match of idx if match of idx is less than or equal to sides of sides of i then we need to remove the value then we need to remove the value match index match idx from sites match idx from sites and we will make another if loop in this after this after this we need to write another recursive function so if dfs of match sites and idx minus 1 here idx first we will we'll traverse from idx then again idx1 if it's true then again uh, recursive function will be called for idx minus 2 so like that if idx minus if it's true if this condition is uh, true then we will return true then we will return true directly if if this condition fails if this condition fails then no 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 it's, it will not come in the else first we need to return true and no it's under, uh, first we need to check this value then we, we need to make another recursive call if it's true we have to print directly true we have to return directly true then we need to add sides of i less equal to match of index we need to add directly index and return false here if this condition is true we will return directly true if this condition doesn't true doesn't make any sense we will will make we will return false directly uh, i think that's enough now let's try to run the code sorry it's a compiler error one more sides sides of i it's sides of i it's an array it's not in variable directly sides of i minus it's it's true we will check for another test cases also yes it's true and we'll submit yeah 40 percent okay thank you